The Jackson County prosecutor says this is the man who fired the first shot. 23-year-old Lindell Mays, along with 18-year-old Dominique Miller. Both men now charged with second-degree felony murder. Tonight, only on Fox 4, we're hearing from one victim shot in the neck who says his friend Dominique Miller was only trying to protect him. I'm John Holt. And I'm Christelle Bell. That bullet traveling from his neck and through his mouth, and his mouth is nearly wired all the way shut. But tonight, he says there's no reason Miller should be behind bars. Fox 4's Malik Jackson joins us now live from Union Station tonight, where that shooting took place in the life of Lisa Lopez Galvin and others were wounded, 20 others. Malik, nearly a week later, the pieces of this story slowly, and we do mean slowly, coming together. And another piece of this puzzle, John and Christelle, Marquez Harris, as you mentioned, shot in the neck, that bullet traveling through his mouth. Tonight, compelled to speak after his friend was charged with four felonies, including second degree murder. The question is, did his friend, Dominique Miller, fire in self-defense? <laughs> These scenes of chaos are all too familiar sight six days after the Chiefs rally was marred by gunfire that took one life and wounded countless others. But they were even more real for Marquez Harris. So we was going to the parade and my little brother, this dude mugging my little brother. Harris says Lindell Mays was staring down his 15-year-old friend. That 15-year-old asking Mays if there was a problem. That's when Mays, according to Harris, started to talk trash to the teenager and Harris interjected. And I pushed my little brother out the way. As soon as I pushed my little brother out the way, the dude stepped forward and to proceeded to shoot me. I seen the firearm, I turned my face and then he hit me in the back of the neck and went through my lip as I was turning away from him. That's when mayhem ensued. Harris says after he was shot by Mays, that is when his friend, Dominique Miller, fired his gun. Only after Lindell Mays fired his weapon and only in defense of Harris. The state alleges one of Miller's bullets is the one that hit Lisa Lopez Galvan. This image here from TMZ Sports shows the moments when Harris is holding his face after being shot. After I got shot, I instantly, like, I walked off looking for help. I was looking for help. And then I sat there, after I got help, I just sat there and just prayed for a second. According to prosecutors, Mays admits he not only pulled his gun first, but that he fired first, and he advanced on the men. Y'all need to know that Donald, that Donald didn't play a part in just going down there thinking, thinking he was just going to shoot 22 people because then nobody have intentions on 22 people getting shot. This isn't a first for Mays. The 23-year-old just got off probation after two years for showing a handgun after a dispute while playing basketball at a Belton, Missouri community center. My condolence to Miss Lisa Lopez and the shooting victims. This was not intentionally. It happened out of nowhere. It was an accidental situation, literally. And as for Harris's recovery, he is on the mend. His jaw will be wired shut for another six weeks, as you saw there. And his ankle, where he was also shot, should heal in that same amount of time. Christelle.